I had a buddy that convinced me not to do the digital thing. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, go do this RF thing. So I went to work for a little company that made ampl RF amplifiers for like GPS. Mm -hmm. Back then we had to build those by hand and started out at seven bucks an hour working as a technician. And I've been in the business now for 44 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So are you, so what do you do now in, in that field? So I actually work for a privately held company in Germany. It's Rodian Schwarz, a huge uh, billions of dollars a year. They make equipment that tests wireless routers, all the parts oh. that go into wireless routers, your phone, Wow. Parts go into it and the phone itself. We test all of that stuff. And I'm an application engineer. So I'm the guy that goes in and says, okay, here's what I think you should do. Yeah. It's a fun job. It it's, is. Got to be. It. I still like doing it. So somebody's having an issue with their Wi-Fi. You go in and test everything and you figure out what they need to do to fix it. I don't fix their Wi-Fi. I don't deal with protocol. I deal with stuff that comes over the air. Okay. I can tell you all about the physical layer, but I'm not going to tell you what resource block in some channel that's not working right. I, I don't, got you. I don't do, because there's, when you start dealing, looking at the details, it's amazing how well this stuff works because yeah. the complexity is enormous. Yeah. But I deal with physical layer stuff. You know, how much energy got there? What was the bandwidth of it? Did it look about right? You know, I can make some of those physical layer things, but that's that's all I do because that's a whole different group that does all of that other stuff. I got you. 